and welcome back. So you guys can probably see that the screen is a lot darker now. Uh, yeah, I chose to turn uh, the brightness down. I actually just make it so the camera would record darker. Ha! You missed me. You missed. Haha. <laughs> Huh, enemies? Nope, not enemies. Well, they can hurt you, if you aren't good enough. Oh crap. Yeah, she's actually useful. Um, and I guess the last boss in Red Chain Clank Tools of Destruction. And during the first round, she and her robots, they are shooting at uh, Tachyon. You just have to run around him in circles. Then they actually will bring him down to the health where uh, you get to the second round. Up until that point, don't shoot. Because that would pretty much just be a waste of ammo. Ah oh, crap! I don't see why does it hurt him. It's not like they're sharp or anything. It's just to do so there's something which can damage you. To try to give the people a challenge. Oh my goddamn weapons! Give me my weapons! One of the most important aspects of Red Chain Clank, the weapons. Which doesn't force you to work together. So a Red Chain Clank game with co-op, it does work. Uh, it can actually be really good. And how do we know that? Red Chain Clank Deadlocked or Gladiator. The, the co-op it has in that game was pretty good. Of course, if it wasn't because of the restriction that you had to be close together, then it might have been even more awesome. The only thing I didn't like about the game was that it felt like it was only arena matches. Sometimes bigger arenas than others. That's what I didn't like. Hell, if Red and Clank Deadlocked had been the arena part of a Red and Clank game, then that would have been the most awesome arenas ever. But since it was an entire Red and Clank game, eh, then I can't really say that it's, it was uh, that awesome. <laughs> but it was awesome that the weapons could get up in level 100. Too bad they just raised levels like crazy uh, after level 20. But it had some damn awesome uh, weapons. Like a weapon called Supernova, where we fire up the small things into the air, and then into giant laser beams would hit the ground. Really? She's gonna continue commanding the round with me? I'm not going over there yet. I have my reasons. Fuck it. See, that was much faster than, than walking. Uh, we have to get over to Talon first then. Uh, this way. Oh crap. Just saw something important. Something really, really important. Sorry, but I want all of the weapons. Every single weapon. And I'm sure we can get it, get them all by now. Except if he charges overpriced for them. Yeah, you check the beach. Who do you think has it? Not that idiot? No, not him. 
He stole it. That fucking asshole. Yeah, let's see. Well, what do you know? I happen to have one right here, procured by perfectly legal means, of course. Yeah, right. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, we make ourselves a deal. See, overpriced. I'll see you around, partner. Damn, overpriced. At least he's uh, going to give us a weapon that uh, we, for some weird reason... Seriously, why did Ratchet not bring all of his weapon with, weapons with him? Why? Uh, we have to talk with him. Hey, you found one! Nice going, kid! Local Beacon Union 319, thank you for your charitable contribution. Contribution. And what the? What? A chicken? Why a chicken? Seems if you can give it a good time, there, champ. I do it myself, but I'm on break. Union rules, you understand? Yeah, then you make me do the work. I actually assigning me to do the work is also work, so you cannot make me do it. That would be against their union rules. Ha! Huh. Looks like they should repair this. Crap. Yeah, because I didn't turn that way. Ouch. I guess I was supposed to do something there that I didn't remember. Uh, what's going on? Something wrong. Yeah, he has one health left. <laughs> well, then Regis is going to die soon. Probably. Then you you have used my uh, diamond pickaxe. <laughs> Can you tell me where they are? Well, sure, if we have a look from start to action. Here, I took the liberty of borrowing this from our archives. They are pages from Darkwater's personal journal. Huh. So what now? Voiceover. The voiceover is missing. You think they would fix a box a bug like this by now? To manipulate time and space to their will. Their leader gave a Fulcrum star that uh, I can use to talk to and with. And I return to Polaris. It's worth a fortune. But I wouldn't part with it for the all of the balls in Meridian City. Me only uh, my me only worry is uh, me miserable. Uh, it only needs the matters of moons for he tries uh, to pillage my property. But I've taken steps to defend it uh, well into the afterlife. 
using an ancient uh, Terranoid infection and coupon for one free because of the whole thing. <laughs> I'll forever bind my soul to my, to my body uh, so that I may protect the fall from star. He who deserves me shall deserve my entire crew. This I swear. Huh. Well, as you guys can hear, because of a bug, we didn't hear what was supposed to be said. Find that star and we'll find your friend. Huh. I think I'm getting a signal. What are you doing now? Yeah. Well, I could use some help. And I could use some weapons too. Maybe he's selling weapons now. He does at one point. I just don't remember when. Sorry. Fuck you. Well, it's about time, mate. I've been radioing you all, all night. <laughs> Do you uh. found the obsidian eye yet? Yeah, but it doesn't work. Darkwater hit the Fulcrum star. Not surprising. Chief Alfie uh. never did trust anyone. Of course, we weren't trying to kill him at the time. Uh. Good news is, every pirate worth their salt keeps a map to their buried treasure. A map? Well, where is it? Well, that's the bad news. He's probably still with his body over in Morrow Cabin. Tell you what, mate. Why did you let yeah. me help you find it? No. Yeah, well, why is he helping us? That pirate who's never told the truth in his life go blatantly out of his way to help the Lombax who killed his best friend and captain? No. <laughs> well, we have to. Great! And I am just the pirate to help us. Ta-da! Uh, I call it Slag on a Stick. <laughs> Rerouted his memory banks to his vocal processor, so he remembered anything he's looking at. Now climb aboard, mateys, and put your faith in good old Captain Slag. Uh, all right. There's only one secret thing in the entire uh, game for this game. And I know where it is and how to Our get it. Hero set forth to Morrow Caverns in search of a map to the mythical Fulcrum Star. With him was Rusty Pete, a noble and true corsair. The subtitles are going too fast. The women cross the galaxy. Uh, this be a work of fiction. Do you even know where we're going? Of course I <laughs> do. I got GPS. Look. Turn right at Isle of Despair. In five leaves. Uh, what the? <laughs> what the hell? Horrica gift from me mom it was. <laughs> Arriving at destination. Uh, Here we are. Morrow Caverns. Famous for its majestic fjords, soothing grottoes, and these are the torture toes awaiting their chance for revenge. What? What was the last? Uh, what? I didn't say nothing. Uh, huh. I don't understand why we need slime to find Darkwater. Didn't you help him find the ship? Well, I was a bit sauced at the time. Woke up three days later wearing an evening gown and spooning a curfew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 well, that must have been, been an awesome party. Well, see you guys next time. Bye.